Okay, episode four is started. Oh crap, almost lost again. We are going into Ticker's Tower. Um, you can climb steeper slopes, and that's pretty much it. You can no longer attack, but you can still jump. Um, not as well, though. But, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice move. You also run faster. And we will leave a level in this form. And you can't go far, but... In fact, you can't even leave this area, pretty much, with this form. But it's actually really nice. Because we can get in here with the last of the notes. I can get the note. Thank you. You found all 100 notes on this world. Good job. Okay. Or well done, whatever you want to say. Say what you want to say. You can't fight, so don't try. Get some really good hack in the fight image. Okay. Got one extra lock. Oh, yeah. And a Jiggy. The last Jiggy in the level. We now have 11 out of 100 Jiggies. And go to these magic stuff you pick and notes of the world, but the 100 you just collected down to your best note score. Try to get 100 in each world as they are needed to open those doors. Okay. What we're going to do first is going to go up here, if we can, and get the Jiggy. Takes a little jumping, but you can do it. Mumbo Magic get weak. Animal turn back or Mumbo Magic go. Magic all gone. Must go back to Bear and Bird now. And we are playing as Banjo and Kazooie again. Wow. That was quick. What we're going to do is... No, I don't want to fart the egg out. Get back here. I'm going to turn into Talon Trot and go up this ramp, which you did not go up at first. And we are in this room here. Where bottles come out. This is a note door. Sealed by Grunty and one of her powerful musical spells. We'll open it, jam jars. And it's not that simple to open. You must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number of the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores in the world must be at least this break from this magic. When you open a note world door, that is escape and roam once more. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll do it for you. Okay, let's go over here. So yeah. Nice. We unlock a new room to the lair. That door was easy. You got past, but unfortunately, our first and last. Okay, that was the worst job ever. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Back here is Momo Dogen. Force hide it where no one will look. that you've already put down, press this down C button. Once the piece show is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. And this is the next level we're going to go to later tomorrow. Yeah, every day I'll do a level, so. Yeah, Treasure Trove Cove, which is a beach. And I'm not using cover up for the customer, it really is a beach. But, next thing we're going to is over here. There's a few things we can get in here, but only one thing I want right now, so... Well, two, actually. Get a red cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron, and two is in color. We'll give you a shortcut. Doing this, is going to use a gold feather, which we'll need later. And then just kill him and get the health for it. Not, not a bad idea. But yeah, um, that shortcut you won't finish until the end of the game, so... But, because of how long it pretty much shortens the walk, um, 
It's actually a really nice one. It's the best in the game. The green one is the most useless in the game, and the yellow one I actually use quite a bit. I usually don't use it because um, you can get all your health refilled and extra life refilled for skipping it. But anyway, um, this room is just for a mumbo token. Um, you might stumble in here by accident and think it's a useless room. There is a mumbo token hiding in here. Um, but as of now, we can do nothing in there that will um, get us anything new other than that token. And that's the whole reason I went in there, actually. And, um, yeah, that's actually the last level of the game right there. And, um, I'll go into further information later about that. And, yeah. So we're going to jump over here. Um, this might spoil the next level a little bit for you, so if you haven't beaten this game before, I really just don't go in here yet. Well, actually, it's too late, so. Tootie's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother is dim. That was the worst crap I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, right here is the entrance to the next level, which you cannot get into. Wow. Let's just hit this switch right here. Okay, we gotta hit all these switches, so let's not miss any. Gotta for, for, further complete this level. Because if we postpone this small area, there will be enemies right here, and I'd rather get it done now. Also because it's a good time to do it. We I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly. Which he knows how. And this is how we get into to, um, the fourth level of the game. Let's go zoom in here and see what we get. They like to have these little underwater tubes a lot, so be aware of these. Um, the third level is just loaded with them. In fact, it's probably the whole thing. It's a big sewer, so... Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of those. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z, like that. And we opened up the fourth world, and we have not opened up the third world yet, which is kind of creepy. We can't go into here yet, because the room is out of our reach. I'll say that. Um, we won't go in there for about, I can guess, ten episodes at the most. At the most. Um, ten episodes would be quite a lot, actually. Uh, if I don't die, it will definitely not be ten episodes. But I won't die. I'm not planning on dying. I love how for a shadow they just take the water design out. That's like really clever, Nintendo and Rare and whoever else made this game. And you can't hit the switch anymore, it's kind of stuck. And since we got all the work here done, um, I guess it's a good ending. Because this episode's gonna go over pretty soon. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. We are going to continue in the next episode tomorrow. Thank you for watching again. Thank you.